All right, welcome YouTubers. Uh, this is my channel. Um, today I'm modding the actual Sky Viper controller. I got it opened already. Um, it's easy. You should figure that out. Next thing I did was I scratched the antenna. I've seen them scratched um, on the bottom here, but I scratched it on the top. I saw that too in a picture, so yeah, actually it's easier to scratch it here for me. Um, so I just scratch it at the tip. All you need is a positive of a coaxial cable. I bought this one at eBay. I'll leave the description. It was a long cable, the two connectors, male and female. But I cut it in half and actually used the male of it. And I exposed the signal wire that's the center. So you got the protector. The first one is the coating or the cover. Then you have a metal sheet inside and then you have a plastic cover or a shield and then you got the signal wire um, on Sky Viper specifically I just have seen so many videos they just use a signal wire signal wire goes connected here oh, let me see if I can do this with one hand signal wire goes connected here and you should be fine good to go with the antenna um, some other models it's not Sky Viper, they use both of them, the signal wire and the metal sheet that's negative um, negative wire, so they use both of them, so you gotta actually sort of both of them. And some antennas, like for camera, FPV camera, uses both of them too, and it's kind of hard because it's like small spaces where you're working with. Um, you cannot touch them together. But for the Sky Viper, it's pretty simple, it's just a positive, now. Um, at least that's what I've seen so far and what I believe, so that's all I'm gonna need to do. So I exposed that. Then I worked on my controller here. Since this goes right here, and I want the antenna coming from the top, the best way is to do it on the front plate. Pretty much your standoffs is your height of how much room you got to work with. Because when it sits on the controller here, the standoffs actually makes that open oh, that room, that whole space that gonna go. You can see right there. So and 10 actually has some space to go through all right now um what i did with it to open it of course it's just a drill bit you can figure that out but it's i used this um this drill uh, with a smaller bit drill a hole and then open it up till i had the space to pull it in um pull the antenna in let me see if i can hold it down here so i can show you get the piece so I'm just one hand it so it will go right in here and I smooth it out so it looks nice and neat all right and there's a piece that goes that nut that goes right on top and holds it down all right so that will be nice and neat now I'll show you the rest in a second I'm gonna solder it show it to you and then I can't show it. I don't have a whole camera holder so I cannot show you while I'm soldering but it's pretty much tint the, that um, coaxial and then just solder it to that point you, this point right here that you scratched or I scratched but you're gonna scratch if you do it yourself I don't recommend doing it first until I can give you a positive response on this I'm just doing the mod not testing I do not have the quad if you saw my previous video I actually do not have the quad anymore I, did, I got the frame but not the quad the right controller so I cannot connect this to it. In order for me to connect this, I'm gonna have to find somebody around me that has a Sky Viper, or um, wait for a Sky Viper itself. Um, anyways, let's continue with the mod. All right, so I soldered that. I have, I know I have a big blob, but I mean, just what I could do. My my soldering gun, I mean, my soldering iron is not working real good. I gotta fix that tip or get a new one. But I mean, it's got to stick to it, so it should have it, like more than enough contact there. I'm just going to put some hot glue on top so it doesn't make any contact with anything else um, to cover it. But that would be it. And then this should go to the hole I did, and I should connect the controller, and that should be all good. Um, let's see what happens. So here it is, all set up, glued there i made a blob of glue so it just doesn't break or anything from there when i'm twisting and turning i got my controller set up the buttons 
I'm just missing one here to power one. Um, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna put this together. I gotta put it backwards, so I gotta insert it, and it's all inverted. So this is gonna be a little bit of work, but you can figure it out. So what I oh, sorry for the camera angle. So what I end up doing was I end up taking off the positive and negative from the back. Just make sure you remember where it is. Um, just in case top is um, negative and bottom is positive. Um, but pretty much that's the way it's going to be. I just took that off so I can actually put the SMA cam um, cable in. Like try to from the bottom try to fix everything up and get it all together. And so I got it right. Uh, make sure when you're doing this, make sure you get your button right, and then you can. This one got sideways, so. But make sure you get your buttons right. It's a little bit sideways, but I don't think it. I mean, this one is not clicking. So this one I gotta fix. I'm gonna have to take it out and fix it. Everything else is clickable. So I'll go out and fix that one. So I want to, I want actually that one fixed. I don't want that one getting either pressed or not pressing at all. So hold on a second. All right. So now I got it all working, so it goes up and down, left and right, it's fine. Um, I put it on the table, it's fine. Clicking, 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 I got it right. Jaw, left, right, front and back. All right, so I got all those right, correctly in order. Um, Power button is switching on and off. Right, and my SMA is right there, the connector. So when it comes in, it should just sit here. And now I gotta connect the, connect the batteries. I gotta put the top ones, but it sits there and that's pretty much how it looks. All right, the awesome part of this for transportation, you can just take the antenna out and you can just, um, Put it on small spaces with you. Throw it on the boat bag or whatever. Now let's put in these cables. The blue one was on top. The red one was on the bottom. That's why one is longer than the other. I'll just do that right now. Hold on a second. So here we can see I resoldered um, positive and negative. And there's a big possibility I can actually show you this bind up. I got the flight controller here separate. Um, there's no motors or anything. But I found my flight, my flight controller for the um, from the Viper, so it should bind anyways. If I don't have, even if I don't have it connected completely, but if I give it power, the RX should start up, and it should give me um, a bind. Um, it should start to bind, and I should be able to bind. If I did that connection right, I'm not sure. I think I'm good with that. Positive, and see right there, positive, negative. So. I believe that it should give me a nice binding. I don't have um, anything that will tell me. I took off the LEDs, so I don't have any LED on. Um, so you will have to go through the sounds of the controller when it goes to the solid state. But we'll see that in a second. So now we got the controller back together, everything working, or everything at least physically working. Um, I don't know. Everything's all together. My SMA cable, look at how nice and neat that looks. Doesn't it? Let me put the antenna in so you can see it. All right, so that's with the antenna. I got this long one, but dude, if you find a whip antenna, like a smaller whip antenna that works with 2.8 gigahertz, it should work perfectly. Probably a little bit less range, but um, it should work perfectly on anything that's on 2.8 gigahertz. Um, or 2.4, I mean, sorry. 2.4 gigahertz so um but this one has i mean you got the option you can just put it like that if you don't want to have that thing just hanging around or if you're going to fly a little bit you can just put it halfway and you got that nice looking controller you're unpacking you take it out you put your antenna apart there's a part takes less space um and that's good um very good sign on it now let's go to binding it all right, this is experimental, but it got proved that it works. So I got the battery. I got the actual Viper 
I just don't have it connect anything on it. I try to put a LED, we'll, we'll see it, but I think I put it backwards here. I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to show you here that it works. I'm going to start it. It's going to bind. And it will go straight up to solid. There we go. So it actually came and bind up. So, so it binds. So it means um, probably the... Um, you just got to test the range. I don't know. Um, see if, how much range this gives you. I will not try because I don't have a Sky Viper. If I buy a Sky Viper in the future, I'd probably buy a stunt one um, for myself just to have fun with my kits um, or a Nano. And I'm probably going to be using this controller. I'm sorry. I probably, I promise I'm going to do buy another controller. And I'm going to mod the other one. And if that one mods, I'll just give away one of them. Um, but that's how you do it. You can do it yourself. I mean, it's not that hard. Um, everything's working. Looks perfect. It looks nice and neat. A very nice, solid um, mod. Step by step, um, you should figure out the parts where I was not working on it. I couldn't show you what I was doing, but you should figure it out. I just pointed out what to do, so you should be figuring it out yourself. Thank you. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, wait for more. I have more um, mods coming up for the. Um, I have one for the. Um, if you're the, the conspiracy quad, I have. I did one mod because I broke the antenna, the FPB antenna or the VTX antenna. So I had to mod the quad a little bit. I have to modify it a little bit. Not too much, nothing crazy, but a little bit. Um, and if you want to see the new mod I'm doing with my actual Sky Viper, that is a totally different um, Sky Viper. It's just a frame and everything else is components coming in. I'll show you that on eventually when I start getting my components back. I'm still waiting for my camera. I'm waiting for my... Um, I'm waiting for the camera and VTX. I'm waiting for... Um, a flight controller, unfortunately, the other one, I don't know why it failed. It's just burnt out. For some reason, I don't know if the battery had some extra charge on it. Um, I overcharged, I believe I overcharged that battery a little bit, and that was a cost. But, um, either way, um, it should be fine. I should have that flying. I already had it flying, so I'm pretty sure that when I get the next one, I'll have it flying. I'll probably have everything up, so I actually get it completely on. I'll make a video like this one for that mod and um, I'll actually get you guys on the sky watching what I'm doing. See you next time and thank you for watching.